Wow. It is Saturday. It is actually exactly one week before Sean O'Brien 100K. Right, Daisy? I am in exactly one week gonna be out somewhere in the Malibu mountains running Sean O'Brien 100K. Hopefully I will be more than halfway done. What time is it? Almost three o'clock. Yeah, hopefully I'll be about two thirds, three quarters of the way done actually. Um, today I'm gonna go for a taper run. So what do I have on the schedule? And a uh, clean house, yes, thank you. Uh, as clean as it gets anyway here. I am going to grab a matcha kick and walk out this door to do 20.9 kilometers today, 13 miles. 13 miles is what I've got on the schedule. Let's go for a run. You stay here, Osh. Yeah, you stay here, bud. You stay here. Hubby came home, so he's gonna come with me. Okay. Um... Kids wanna come too. Today is basically about how long can I procrastinate before walking out the door. Now, would you... <laughs> Do you think you'd get out the door if you didn't have a coach looking at what you're you're doing? Today? Yeah. No. No. Ouch. <laughs> okay. It is now 10 to 4. That only took me 50 minutes to get out the door. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> so Hubby was working today and I thought I was going to get my run in before he came home, but clearly, no. Whoa. <laughs> um, so he's gonna come for a little bit of my run with me and we are gonna have to find a different way because... I forgot my wetsuit. Because <laughs> I'm not interested in going for a swim right now. Um, you go seriously around. though, that's crazy. Yeah, that'll be so... Oh, the duck's Goose Sorry. is running away. <laughs> um, Even the beach is Wow. Covered. Yeah. Even the beach is covered. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know how to. Did you go all the way around over there? Over there? Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of water. Maybe we walk as far as Yeah. Okay, there we go. Got a little beach bit of a beach running up. Yeah. Hubby left me. He only needed an hour, so half an hour out, he turned around. Okay. Since I last updated you, that was last Thursday, uh, with all the crazy rain, there's been more crazy rain, as you saw back there. Um, last Friday, I did intervals for the first time in, well, I don't think I've done speed work in like a year. Okay, I am. I am just about 20 kilometers into my 40k run and it got really nice. Look at it out here. I'm in the urban trails. Vancouver has some amazing urban trails. Which way should I go? I am I'm going that way. I won't lie, when I started out today, I, <laughs> my legs were tired. I, I'm finishing up my first week with my new coach and she has thrown in some strength training and my goodness, I did intervals yesterday. So yeah, legs were tired when I started. Whew, was not sure how they were gonna do. It's muddy in here. Um, but they've loosened up and I'm feeling good. So that is good. Okay, I am about 30 kilometers into this 40K run and I'm gonna do something that I did two years ago. I'm. Uh, it's not icy right now, but it is slippery. I'm going to go down these stairs. The stairs where I broke my foot just over two years ago, like two years and one week ago. I was running down these stairs and I actually even remember where I broke my foot. And it happened, happened right here on one of these steps right here. I slipped and I basically just rolled my ankle really fast, really hard and broke my foot. So I'm gonna make my way down these stairs without breaking any feet today. 
<laughs> because I'm trying to get all the up and down elevation that I possibly can on today's run. Okay, putting you away while I go down these stairs. Okay, it's pretty cool down here. Now, I know there's another set of stairs that way, um, so I'm trying to see if I can get to them, but, uh, well, it might not work. I might end up having to turn around and go back. Let's, let's find out. Ooh. Okay, well now this run just went and turned into a pretty cool adventure. Still seeing if I can find the set of stairs that is over there somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, so, no stopping between arrows. Made it past the landslide area all good and actually saw someone who confirmed there are a set of stairs just ahead of me, so fantastic. I didn't necessarily want to go backwards over all those crazy rocks again. All right, let's get out of here. As beautiful as it is. It is really beautiful. So, so many stairs. Almost there. Pages. Safely made it down. Back up. No broken feet. Onward. Okay. 9K left. Let's go finish this off. So it was a really great run last Saturday. Super happy with it. Uh, I was out there a while, five and a half hours, but overall it went really, really well. Now, the next day I had 20 kilometers, 19.3 actually, which is what, 12 miles. And I went out and I was planning on rounding that 19.3 up to 20. <laughs> ah, my legs felt like dead. Uh, so I did 19.3 exactly. So with those 19.3 kilometers, I managed just over 100 kilometers for last week. So that is two weeks back to back that were 100 plus kilometers. And I hadn't had a 100 plus kilometer week in other than uh, Tahoe 200, obviously. Oh, since like last July. So feeling really good about that. This week, got out there on Tuesday, was super worried. Um, basically because I had felt so tired on Sunday. I was worried how I was going to feel on Tuesday. Nothing to worry about. Felt so strong, so good. And I actually had some strides thrown into Tuesday's run. Um, and those felt great too. Took a quick little detour. Back down to Rec Beach like I did last week because, well, views and elevation. I gotta go back up these stairs. Here we go. And I am losing light. I am almost at halfway in this run today. And just taking my time out here. This week overall has been pretty light, as I mentioned. This is taper day today. You gonna stay on for me? This GoPro has been turning off. I'm tired today. I, I think my body knows that I am going to be racing, running, not really racing, just running, running 100 kilometers in exactly a week. And I just want to be in bed sleeping. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I am just over halfway done. I still have halfway to go. I'm going to finish in the dark and that is okay. Uh, finish up quick summary of this past week. After Tuesday morning's nine miler, I did a lovely little urban trails, three miler. Um, Wednesday was off day swimming and on Thursday, Thursday I took the day off of work. I went over to Bowen Island and I ran through some beautiful Bowen Island trails with my dad. Bowen Island is where Sparkle is buried and I said goodbye to her a year ago. So I went to just visit her grave. Yesterday, Friday, I actually decided to sleep in, get some extra sleep. Um, really the emotional um, aspect of being a year since losing Sparkle just really kind of drained me. So lost some energy this week on that and that's okay. Um, so I slept in yesterday morning and decided to run at the end of the day. So hubby and I went for a run. Um, I had intervals again, Friday intervals I guess is a theme. So hubby paced me for intervals. I, obviously his 
easy pace is my interval pace more or less but it was really nice to have him there um, timing my intervals for me really nice to have him there timing my intervals for me so lucky two weeks in a row with um, someone there to support me in my intervals won't count on that every week but grateful for it these past two weeks okay I gotta get my butt moving mm. finish this run Run slash walk slash look at the pretty views. Here we go. I am not feeling today's run. I have five kilometers left to go and right now I'm sitting on a bench. Okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go finish this run and I'm gonna go home because I'm cold and hungry. Oh my gosh, okay, so I did finish my run yesterday. Um, my GoPro, this camera I use to film my runs, conked out on me um, yesterday. I think it was just too cold for it. No, I'm just kidding. Actually, I have no idea. Anyway, I, I did finish my run. That was a bit of a tough one. I was not really feeling it last night, um, but I did get it done. And I'm glad that I got out there and got it done. And I am in true taper mode. Uh, today, rest day, I went to ballet. Uh, still my ballet hair and tomorrow's another complete rest day if I didn't have a coach telling me to rest I would not be resting two days in a row so I think this is gonna be a good thing and really I just got to get ready I got to pack and get ready um, leave it on Wednesday to go down to uh, Malibu California to run Sean O'Brien 100k in six days so I'm gonna go pack. I got one more run here in Vancouver on Tuesday morning, and then I'll see you in California.